many people probably don't realize this, but it um, cultivated peanut or the wild species of peanut. How they grow is that their their plant. I have an example of of one in, in tissue culture here, um, but it's grown in the soil. So you plant the seed, the peanut seed that you would eat. You plant that part into the soil, and then you get a plant. Um, to come out, and then it has really pretty yellow flowers. However, um, what's interesting about it is normally when a uh, flower is pollinated and fertilized, the fruit develops aerially or above the ground. But that's not the case with peanut. What happens is there is fertilization, and then you get the cell division, and it creates a specific reproductive organ called the gynophore, or commonly we call it the peg. And this peg looks like a root, but it's not a root. It has the fertilized ovules that will become the seed at the tip. And it grows downward, according to gravity, into the soil. And once the peg is in the soil, it'll turn horizontally, and then it'll start developing um, the fruit, which is the peanut pod. So peanut isn't really a nut. Um, a real nut is on a tree and grown above the ground. It's what's called a legume. So it's more similar to soybeans, for example, than a real nut is. But, um, and so it grows underground, and in order to collect the peanuts, um, you have to go in and turn the peanuts upside down, and then these, uh, all these pegs with all these peanuts attached to them will come up to the surface, and then they're harvested in that way. That's why in other parts of the world, peanuts are called groundnut. And that explains it a little bit better, I think, because it actually grows uh, subterraneally or under the ground.